Okay, right here is a 1991 Terex 3310E. As you can see, this truck is currently getting a tire change here at the mine. After Terex Corporation emerged from Chapter 11 in 1986, General Motors Corporation sold Terex to Northwest Engineering Company of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And the following year, Northwest Engineering acquired the UK-based Terex Equipment Limited, which officially removed General Motors from the earth-moving equipment business. Later on, in 1988, the firm's parent name of Northwest Engineering was replaced with Terex Corporation, which at this time was broken up into two entities, which were Terex Division in the USA and Terex Equipment Limited in the UK. A few months later, in late 1988, Terex halted and transferred all U.S. manufacturing to Scotland, making Terex Equipment Limited the headquarters for all global Terex truck sales. The Model 3310E made its appearance in 1988. Now, let's go and take a closer look at this truck. The 3310E was offered with two different diesel engine configurations, which were a Cummins VTA 28C 675, four-cycle turbocharged and after-cooled V12 diesel engine producing 635 horsepower at 2100 RPM and 1990 foot-pounds of torque at 1200 RPM, or a Detroit 16V 71TA, two-cycle turbocharged and after-cooled V16 diesel engine, which you can see right under the hood here. This engine produces 640 horsepower at 2100 RPM and 2005 foot-pounds of torque at 1200 RPM. Here you can see the frame which supports the powertrain. The 3310 featured Kingpin strut-type independent wheel suspension in the front with self-contained variable rate nitrogen over oil suspension cylinders and A-frame linkage with a lateral stabilizer bar in the rear. And if you look right here, you can see the original manufacturer's plate with the truck's model number, the serial number, and below you can see where it says built in Scotland. Now, let's go up on top of this green machine. Here you can get a good overview inside the operator's cab on a 3310E. Okay, now let's take a look at what some of these controls do. Out in front here, you can see all of the gauges to monitor this entire truck when it's in operation. This is the tachometer, steering hydraulic filter pressure, transmission oil pressure, engine oil temperature, water temperature, engine oil pressure, and the body hydraulic filter pressure. Here you can see the speedometer, and over here on the right side control panel, here you can see the voltage gauge for the battery, and here you can see other warning lights to alert the operator in case of a malfunction. And below you can see other switches to control other various functions on the truck. This hand lever that you see down here, off to the right side, controls the retarder. And this hand lever is the gear shift for the transmission. This is in the neutral position right here. There are five forward speeds, a drive speed, and a reverse speed on a 3310E. A 
off to the right side, you can see the trainer seat, and from here you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were driving a 3310E. Mounted on the right side of this truck is the battery box. And here you can see the single air intake and air cleaning unit for the engine. The 3310E measures 14 feet 11 inches tall from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab and 14 feet 10 inches wide. Mounted on the left side of this truck are the two hydraulic reservoir tanks which you can see right here. The left tank is for the steering system and it holds 13 and a half gallons of oil while the right tank is for the body hoist and it holds 46 gallons of hydraulic oil. Mounted on the opposite, the right side of this truck is the diesel fuel tank and it holds 220 gallons of fuel. From underneath here, you can get a good view looking at the transmission on this truck, which is an Allison CLBT 6062. This is an automatic, electronically controlled transmission with an integral torque converter that features automatic lockup in all speed ranges. Here you can see the steering cylinders and the tie rods, which will turn the front tires left or right. Right here you can see the lift arms, which connect to the double acting hoist cylinders, which will raise and lower the dump box. The 3310E was designed to haul 66 tons of material on its back. This truck featured an all-hydraulic braking system with a transmission-mounted pressure-compensating piston pump, which provides hydraulic pressure for the brakes and steering. And the overall empty operating weight of a 3310E can range anywhere from 48.7 to 54.7 tons, with additional liner plates added to the dump box. The 3310E remained in production until 1996, when this truck was discontinued from Terex's product line. But there she is, a 1991 Terex 3310E.